finally on the way. We're only an hour and 15 minutes behind schedule, which is usual for us. Um, we'd have been a little sooner, maybe five extra minutes, but I forget the coffee at home and had to turn around. The dogs are all confused. We are heading to New Hampshire to do a hike uh, we've been wanting to do for a little bit, and I'm pretty excited. It's about a two hour drive, so we'll get back to you. planning to do the loop so it's gonna I don't actually see it really well on this map but anyway we're gonna go up Frankenstein Cliff around and down Arethusla Falls made it to the tracks that last little bit was little, just a tiny bit of a bushwhack. I don't know. I got, I lost the trail for a minute. I was here several years ago with um, one of my daughters, the one that picked me up in Harper's Ferry. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it right here. But we also had trouble getting to this point. Well, we went, we walked down the tracks for a long, a long time and then couldn't find the trail up. So hopefully I can find it pretty easily this time where it connects to go up to the cliffs. Last time my daughter had thought maybe we should cross the railroad bridge. I was against that idea. Even though it looks fun, it's not a good plan. But uh, I'm gonna go find the, where the trail crosses over. And I'll see you in a minute. All right, so I'm pretty sure that is the trail right there, like 90%. I'm going to check it out on my map in a second, but I just wanted to walk down here. All right, so the trail, this little side trail we took meets up with the actual trail. Just, a, I don't know, not even point one. So I guess we're back in business, but from here, the climbs for a bit. All right, we've come to a waterfall, small one. I must say, I forgot how steep this trail was. <laughs> I'll put a picture of what it looks like in all trails right here. It's uh, kind of goes straight up and then it's not so bad. So I'll show you. <laughs> all right, here's the next rock formation. It's very cool. Very tall. And we're going to climb over the slippery wet rocks. I fell on my butt trying to get the view on the other one. It was all slippery loose jam that I tried to well, not sand, but rocks and dirt. And then I started sliding. That tried to catch me. Boop, on my butt. Well, he caught me from going over the edge, so you know, there's that. And I didn't get hurt. Maybe a bruise. Eh. That wet section was just a little sketchy, not too bad. Definitely take your time. So this trail has like 1,600 and something feet of elevation gain, and um, most of it is in like 0.9 of a mile, like 13 to 1,400 of it. <laughs> it's like all at once. And then it gets a little easier. This trail is marked by yellow blazes. Whew. I haven't done too much elevation since I've been home from the AT, so I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it? Since I haven't done any, yeah, quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> but that won't stop me. Nah, we'll make it. 
Not as fast as that guy that went flying by us, but that's okay. I'm not gonna say is that all you got, because that's just cool. Out of this section. <laughs> yeah. Is this uh fire? It looks yeah. like it, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Probably. probably. That's what I would guess too. Falcon Cliffs is this way. We're not sure if that's 0.5 miles or 0.5 meters, but far out says it's only 0.2. So I think we're gonna do it. All right, made it to Falcon Cliff. Look at that. Although the clouds are coming in. All right. Made it back from the Falcon Cliff and back on to the waterfall. All right, so in the screenshot that I'll put right here, you can see we were on the blue trail, which was the Frankenstein Cliffs Trail. And then um, now we're on the pink trail. No idea what that specific name is, but we're on our way to Arethusula Falls. It's about another mile, 1.1 from here. And then uh, after that, we'll hit the parking lot. But we are going to, there's a stream coming up. We're gonna refill our water. It is a warm, muggy day water filter thankfully because it is a hot day and we've already been through all the water but I knew there was a lot of water on the trail. So let's get that filled. All right. Now let's fill with some water. Oh no it's clogged. No it's filtering it's just not as fast. I gotta clean it. It's going slow. Arethusa Falls turn off. It is point two to the right. Well, left if you're looking at the sign, but from the trail we came down. So it's this way, point two.
Gotta love my bridges. So this is supposed to be, uh, and I'll double check, the highest waterfall in New Hampshire. And it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm finally glad Matt got to see it. But it was still, we had a great time. And uh, this is beautiful. With all the rain that's been happening, it's been it's nice to get out and uh, see a little bit of sun and see the falls. They were gushing because of the rain. So that's <laughs> one positive. This side of the trail is way more popular than the way we went. Um, there was a few people going up to the cliffs and then from the cliffs to the falls we only saw like a couple people. There wasn't, wasn't too many people at all but coming down back to the parking lot there's been a lot of people going up so I think it's a popular spot. Just about down from Arethusa Falls. Made it down the steep bits. And I think I see the parking lot. Alright, this is the other trail we, it's like a part of this one being this book trail. But we missed it coming down, so we're going to the parking lot. This is Parking fee. Yeah. Right, this is the Falls Trail. 1.2, 1.4 to the falls. And Frankenstein Cliffs that way. Cliff Trail is 2.1. So now, I've got to figure out how to get back to the car. I think we go down the road. That's what I think. I think you're right. Thanks. Yeah. He just got a beetle out of my hair, so, and now there's a bug in my eye. All right, we are heading back, back to the car. We're almost there, and just wanted to say we had a great time. The falls were so beautiful. Highly recommend. All right, thanks so much for following along. Hope you guys are having a great week. Please subscribe if you already haven't. Help grow the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.